Welcome to Instablog's Global Report. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and citizen voices from all over the world. Top stories for the day are Japan undergoing disturbing shift in its demographic composition. Drug gangs using young women to smuggle drugs into United Kingdom. City Council of Manila proposes a name change for Philippines. Kenya's poor using sun heat and sewage to fight soaring food and fuel prices. Japan is going through a disturbing shift in its demographic profile. The country is experiencing alarming decline in fertility rate, with increasing number of women delaying marriage and postponing childbirth. CJ Zak reports from Japan for Instablogs. This is Zach P, citizen journalist reporting from Japan. Japan, the world's second largest economy, is undergoing a disturbing shift in its demographic composition so that the population loss will strip the country of 70% of its population. The reason being an alarming decline in the country's fertility rate with an increasing number of women delaying marriage and postponing childbirth. Most working women in Japan face a stark choice, the career track in which they will acquire financial independence while remaining single and childless or the family track, which makes them full-time mothers until they're in their mid to late 40s. Japan desperately needs women to marry and have children while also continuing to work, but corporate discrimination causes only about a third of women in Japan to remain in the workforce after having a child. Single women have been sought after by a corporate Japan starved for young workers. They've gained more power and freedom in the workplace. This has mounted an enormous social and mental pressure on women in Japan where marriage remains universal and being an independent single woman still carries stigma. Drug gangs in UK are using young British girls called drug mules to smuggle cocaine into the country from Africa. The trend was revealed following the arrest of several young girls caught with drugs from the airports within UK and Africa. CJ Amanda Thomas reports from UK. This is Amanda Thomas, citizen journalist reporting from the UK for Instablogs. Drug gangs in the UK have found a different way to smuggle illegal drugs. They are hiring young women, called drug mules, to bring the drugs in from Africa. In recent months, there have been incidents where British girls in their teens have been caught with drugs at airports both in the UK and in African countries. It is generally acknowledged that young women have been groomed as smugglers and are lured into this illegal activity with promises of holidays, expensive meals, clothes and jewellery. Drug gangs make all the arrangements and often the girls are asked to travel with a package without being told what it contains. Authorities who find it difficult to prove conspiracy arrest the drug smuggler, a teenage girl who may also be the victim, and who will then spend a long time behind bars. The exact number of girls lured into drug smuggling is not known, and the fear is that the cases we know about may be the tip of a very large iceberg. In a bid to get rid of the last colonial vestige, the Filipinos are considering a name change for their country. The Philippine Island is the new anticipated name for the country. CJ Millerfil Hope Orr has more on the proposed name change from Philippines. This is Miller Philip Alice, citizen journalist reporting from Philippines. City Council of Manila has proposed a name change from Philippines that would conjure dreamy images of palm trees, cool breezes, and sandy beaches. The Philippine Island is the new anticipated name for the country. While the country's name change should be at or near the bottom of the nation's immediate priorities, it should not be ignored because no other country in the world is named after a mass murderer. Philippines is named after the Spanish king, Philippe II, who was the most powerful monarch in the world, and it was said that the sun did not set on his empire. He was, however, deeply infamous for his intolerant attitude towards people of other religions and beliefs. Changing the name would also end all the confusion about the spelling of the country or the people. Besides, the country would draw more tourists if a more exotic name could replace the state, Republic of the Philippines. Also, if Ceylon could be changed to Sri Lanka, leading guard to St. Petersburg, Peking to Beijing, why can't the Philippines change its name? It's time the country get rid of this last colonial vestige. Kenya's poor are using solar energy and human waste to produce biogas to fight the soaring food and fuel prices. The practice is benefiting several Kenyans surviving on less than one dollar a day. CJ Rose reports from Kenya for Instablots. 
This is Rose, a citizen analyst reporting for Kenya for InstaBlog. With the ever soaring food and fuel prices in Kenya, people have come up with new ways of surviving. Though maybe not many would plan this, harnessing the power of sewerage and sunshine is a godsend idea to others. The four small residents from a sewage fish may have worsened by the heating sun, but for some enterprising residents, the smell of progress. Kenyans living in, in some of the informal settlements in the country have made drugs to recycle human waste into gas to use it for cooking and lighting. Some of these people are assisted by foreign organizations to use sunlight to purify drinking water that has drastically brought down cases of waterborne diseases. These schemes are proving to be a boon to many poor Kenyans who survive on less than a dollar a day. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.